How you doing? This is Doc Rotten from Horror News Radio and Gruesome Magazine. Joining me today is the one and only Joseph Perry from uh, all the way from South Korea. He is here to do a short called Pranoia uh, from uh, writer-director Nick Eferades. I just butchered that name, but that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Joseph, how you doing, sir? Hello, Doc. I'm doing really well. Thank you. How about and, and yourself? And I am doing well. It is. Okay. Uh, it's one of those days. This is part of your <laughs> weekly <laughs> column, and what is the name of that column? Sir? Super scary short Saturday. That's right. We are doing a short film, and tell us a little bit about the short film and what your thoughts of it are. So, Pronoia is an enigmatic kind of neo noir science fiction tale, and it's uh, really interesting. There's a lot to look at and a lot to think about. It concerns uh, three major parts to the story. Number one is the meeting and developing relationship between Jeff, played by Stelio Savante, and Camille, played by Hannah Jane McMurray. Uh, they meet in a hotel during a rainstorm. They seem to be the only ones there, and they have kind of a hard time understanding each other. They're talking in very, uh, hmm, uh, I used the word enigmatic before, but I'll use that again here. Uh, well, let's say puzzling uh, dialogue with one each other, uh, with one another, I'm sorry, but, but they are clicking. So that's very interesting. And then part two concerns the disappearance of a high-ranking Pentagon official, Lieutenant Griswold, played by Marston Allen. Part three concerns Jeff leaving the hotel and running into a policeman played by Lou Mastantuono, or Lou Mast. He has, that actor has uh, two different names that he goes by, and I want to make sure he gets credit for both. So um, each segment has its own unique sensibility, and uh, the third segment has a bit more of a kind of thriller element to it. And again, I mentioned neo and noir, so there's some film noir type uh, aspects in there. And the first part, where Jeff and Camille meet, has very much a feel of some classic uh, surreal films such as, actually, these are both that I'm going to recommend, uh, Alphaville by Jean-Luc Godard and Last Year at Marienbad. And uh, if anybody's seen those, they're going to understand what I'm talking about, especially with the puzzling and intriguing at the same time dialogue between its characters. Uh, what would you say your favorite scene in uh, Benoia would be? The initial meeting between Jeff and Camille is quite good, but I'm going to say that Jeff's run in with the policeman uh, is going to be my favorite scene. Again, this is a short, so I, uh, there's not a lot to describe that won't give it away. But the acting between Savante and Mast at that point is fantastic. And also a lot of mystery is built up as Jeff's character is trying to plead with the policeman to please uh, contact a certain person and make these things right. But the policeman's having none of it. He's trying to figure out what's going on behind uh, Jeff's Enigma, uh, strange behavior. And what would your score be? I'm going to give it a uh, four out of five. It has that feeling of, I want to know more, but I'm going to have to rewatch and dig in deeper to try to figure it out. And if I do, will I be able to kind of, uh, you know, David Lynchian neo-noir take added with some, as I mentioned before, classic French mysterious films. Nice. And uh, you said that this film is uh, currently available online? Yes, it is. Uh, listeners can watch it on Vimeo, and we'll put that link in the show notes. <laughs> All right, well, Joseph, thank you once again for your thoughts on the short films. Uh, be sure to head over to gruesomemagazine.com to check out more reviews. And, of course, our other podcasts, Horror News Radio and Decades of Horror. And we also have the Quarterly Magazine. Joseph, let's say goodnight. Goodnight, and thank you, Doc. Thanks for listening. <laughs>